Hey everybody, it's Alicia Collins. We are, it's it's four o'clock, so we're doing the 411 at four. And we are here with Corinne from Artisan Alley. And I'm really excited to talk with her. So introduce yourself and tell us why you started Artisan Alley. Um, okay, so my name's Corinne, I'm the owner of Artisan Alley since May, 2018. Um, and I wouldn't say started Artisan Alley because I owe that to Jamie, the previous owner. Um, but the reason, one of the biggest reasons why I decided to purchase Artisan Alley was, sorry, excuse the clock in the background, um, was so that I could have an outlet away from my children. Um, and before you go reading into that, I need you to understand that I was a stay-at-home mom. Um, I stuck around, I hiked was with my kids all the time and then what i really needed was i needed some adult interaction i needed a place where i could go and be around other adults and just get that attention that i needed um you know i've been a crafter a painter my entire life and so when jamie approached me and asked me if i was interested in buying artisan alley i said yes because i've always wanted to be my own boss um and you know, just just being able to be in control of that and then have that, you know, interaction with people, for me, it was worth it. So that's kind of where I went with it. And, and um, I love what I do. I mean, it's the best, I wouldn't say the best job ever, but it's pretty awesome. <laughs> no, it's not. Totally yeah. sure. Sorry. Oh, go. Are we, we're good? Are we live? <laughs> um, Okay, so when you, before all these things happened, people would come in, mm -hmm. you would teach them to do a sign, a painting. Tell us a little bit about that. So, yeah, so before everything kind of went south, we had, um, you know, we would do paint classes. We had uh, canvas classes where we would teach you step by step how to take, you know, the featured painting and then recreate it yourself. Um, and then we had the wood signs, which are super, super easy. So I tell anybody who struggled with a canvas class to do a wood sign class because it's a stencil. You cannot mess this up. Um, and then we do a little bit of clay. So we have, um, we were doing Saturdays where we would have clay classes where you'd take a spin or they'd be date night um, or a lot of hand building things. So that's kind of what we did. But then we threw wine into the mix because to have a party, you got to have some wine, right? <laughs> so, you know, we would we would have these classes and we would guide people through them and then they would come out with a finished product that they could take home. Um, most of the time people are proud of it, but like I said, sometimes those canvas classes can be a little tricky. Um, and I tell people it's not about creating art, it's about enjoying the experience with your friends and family. So that's all it is. You know, you're there to have fun. So since you said something about the wine, I I know it's Table Mountain Vineyards. It's out of mm -hmm. Huntley, Wyoming. So it's yep. um, made in Wyoming. That's awesome. So you have that and you can buy it by the bottle, by the glass. And so tell us a little bit about that. And don't forget about the sangria. All <laughs> right. Um, okay. Yeah. So Table Mountain Vineyards, the owner, Patrick, he's absolutely amazing. Um, you know, he has my personal favorite is the Cal World Blush. It's not too sweet, not too tart. It's kind of a nice mix between all of them. And so um, he, he it's 100% Wyoming wine. And what that means is everything that goes into his wine is from Wyoming. Um, so he, he um, sorry, I had to grab something for a second. Um, so he grows a lot, a lot of the stuff that goes into it is grown there on his farm um, or it's sourced locally from here in Wyoming. That way he can say that it is 100% Wyoming wine. So everything that goes into it is from Wyoming. So that's in itself is pretty cool, um, you know, because he's keeping it local, you know, supporting local essentially. Um, so yeah, so I, I personally love the Cowgirl Blush, but we also make a really amazing sangria. Um, the sangria varies. I can't give out the recipe because it's a secret, obviously. Um, but uh, it's, it's really good. Lots of sugar. I'll tell you that much, um, you know, and then and not when you're painting, right? Well, yeah, I mean, because alcohol, wine or alcohol or anything that you drink while you're doing this is going to kind of help you relax a little bit. Um, and, 
you know, you get a lot of people who come in who are very, very uptight and they're nervous and they're like, I can't do this. And I say, honey, drink more. You'll be fine. <laughs> Have another glass of wine. Yeah. What's that? I'm pretty sure that was me the first time. You might have um, put me another glass extra. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, and then I tell them if they, after that first glass, they're still having a hard time with it. Um, have another glass, you know, but then call, call it, call an Uber. So, <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, and you can yeah, also, agree. sorry, sorry. Um, you also can buy the wine to take with you, right? To take home. Yes. Um, as long as it's not been opened, um, you know, it has to be sealed. Awesome. So in all of this change, um, I can't wait to hear what you've done to kind of keep going and adapt to our changing climate. Yes. So um, it, it, it's been a ride. I'm not going to lie. Um, full of, you know, ups and downs, very emotional. Um, there are still nights where I cry and I'm like, what am I doing? Am I doing the right thing? Um, you know, and I think a lot of business owners are feeling that right now. Um, they're just kind of like not sure, you know, what to do, you know, because this is something that nobody has ever experienced before, um, you know, so there's a lot of doubt. But what we kind of had to do was we did to go to go kit. So the wood sign kits that we do, we had done those before. But when everything happened and they said you can't have any more gatherings, you know, you can't have any groups, all non-essential businesses must shut down. We instantly went to to go kit because it was something that somebody could come and pick up and with no prior experience complete at home without an instructor because the kit includes everything that you need a board the tools materials paint instructions everything that you would need to complete the project at home so we literally went from a paint class went from paint classes to a production line and me and my best friend are the only ones right now who are cranking these kits out um so we we go in wednesday through saturday and now i have it set where thursday through saturday are the only days that we allow pickup and wednesday we fulfill the orders that we can because it's been really overwhelming um people don't know they don't have anything to do with their kids you know, they need something to do. So the first week that we did it, um, I was really questioning what I was doing because I was like, am I going to be able to keep up with this? Um, you know, since then, it's kind of died down a little bit, but it's just looking back at everything. It still seems so surreal. You know, we went from art classes and then now we're pumping out paint kits. Um, and it's just, I'm so thankful that the community has gotten behind it. Um, you know, I don't want to like tear up and get all emotional on camera, but um, it's really nice to see that the community really rallied and came together and got behind this idea. You know, because even just doing curbside pickup, it's like, okay, we're still talking to people. We're still out there dealing with them, you know, and then what are the risks to us? What are the risks to them for leaving their house? So it's just one of those things where, you know, we're doing all that we can to stay relevant, to be a part of the community and to help people out. Um, you know, and this in this going to, you know, from classes to a, a production line has um, it's <laughs> like I can't even words I'm speechless because I can't even, you know, like think of I mean, it's like one minute I'm happy and the next minute I'm like super overwhelmed and then. You know, it's just, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> it's just been one one crazy ride. And it's only been three weeks, yeah. which is, it seems like, you know, months that this has been going on. And it's only been a couple of weeks. It really does. Um, so, and you're, you're, you're missing the people. You're missing yes. the conversation. 
Yes, I am. So, <laughs> you know, and we've had some of our regulars have come to pick up kids and I look at them and I'm like, I want to hug you, but I can't. So I'm like, air hugs, air kisses, you know, um, and I, I miss that interaction with them because they would come in and I could sit there and I could watch them paint and I would hang out with them and, you know, and we would have a party because that's what we do is we have paint parties. And now we can't have any of that. And now I run out the back door and I run to their vehicle and I stretch my arm out. I'm like, here's your kit. Hi, bye. And then I run back inside. And, um, you know, it's just, I miss them. You know, I miss being able to come in and watch them come in and see their faces, you know, because some are, some are anxious, some are happy. You know, there's this whole wave of emotions that they go through as they walk through the door. And I miss seeing that. I miss those little those little interactions that we take for granted every day. Um, you know, and so I'm really, really looking forward to when all of this finally goes back to normal and we can get back to having classes. Because, I mean, it's just, just having a group around you and having all of their eyes focused on you. And you're the one who's instructing them. And you're the one making jokes and making them laugh and smile. And at the end of the night, they're saying, Corinne, you're amazing. I had so much fun. Thank you. I needed this. That I think is what I really miss the most is being able to reach out and, you know, have a profound impact on someone's life just by showing them how to do a wood sign or a paint flax. Um, you know, so that's, that's been really hard to kind of deal with, but um, it's just something that I think a lot of other businesses are dealing with too. You know, it's just like the, the mom and pop restaurants. They had their regular customers that would come in to support them. And now that's all changed. So, yeah, I agree. Um, however, we know that you're making an impact because I've, okay. seen, I've seen people put their signs on with their kids on Facebook that they made together. And so it's, it's really helping that. Don't you think that creative juice come out and it helps them keep that positive mindset we need? Well, it says, and I've always been, I've always been one um, to, to really push the art for mental health. The reason being is, is art is going to help stimulate your brain and it's going to help you focus and think about something other than, you know, what's, what's getting you down. Um, and that's where I think, you know, the mental health and art go hand in hand. Now, the problem that we're having right now is you have people who are isolated to their homes. They're not able to get out. They're not able to see their friends. Life as we know it has literally changed mm -hmm. overnight. Um, and so that right there, people are suffering. Whether they want to say it or not, they are. And having an art project like this takes their mind off of it for just a little bit of time where they can focus on something else. They can get think outside of the box, create something, and then feel happy that they did this they they made this project um so that's where you know i i really hope that we are making an impact in the community and that you know people are really enjoying this because even myself you know as an artist i'm always super critical of everything that i do um you know and it's just i want people to enjoy it as much as i do so but yeah but it's um you know it, it seems like everyone's loving it. So. Uh, they totally are. What are some of the things that you are um, selling as far as, as far as kits? So what we're doing is um, I do the kid kits, the little $5 kits. So it's a five by five inch board. Um, and the design is super, super simple. So it's geared towards children ages two to five years old. Obviously, parents are going to have to help to have to. Oh, sorry, are going to have to help their kids a little bit with it. Um, but so the kit, you know, it's a little five by five board, super simple. Um, I actually just released new designs today. So we've got, you know, like a bison and a horse and some dogs and some cats, um, super simple things for kiddos. So that reaches the little kids, um, which are sometimes the hardest to entertain. Okay. I know I have a five year old um, and <laughs> It's hard. <laughs> um, and then we have the bigger kid kits, which are geared towards ages six through 18. Now, 18 year olds can do it. Adults can do it as well. I've had some moms say, I bought a kit for myself. And I said, that's fine. 
no judgment. I don't care what you do with the kit, just as long as you're happy with it. Um, you know, and those designs are a little bit more complicated. You get like a nine by 12 or a 12 by 12 inch board, depending on the design. And those ones are a little bit more intricate. There's a little bit more involved with them. Um, but then those have more colors so that you can get more outside the box with this. And then we do the adult kits. So the adult kits are located on our website in the board gallery. And you can click on that. You can look through. There's probably like 150 of them. Look through all of those designs and pick out the one that you want. Now, the prices between those are you know, $25 to $45. Um, skill level, it kind of ranges. You have some that are super easy. And then you have some like the Copper Mandala. Please do not order a Copper Mandala. <laughs> it, is, it takes, it's like a six hour project. Um, so, you know, you have, you know, you have those that people can kind of choose from, you know, and there's a wide range of different designs on there. So those, you know, and those are the same thing. You get everything, you get the board, you get instructions, paint, materials, everything that you would need to take this home and do it in the safety of your home. Um, so, yeah. Are, are they all ordered on your website or are some of them ordered on Facebook? Um, so you are, there's, there, there's no link on Facebook to actually order anything. Um, so what we've been kind of doing is telling people to use Messenger or to give us a call if they want to order, especially if they want to mix and match. You know, like if you want some little kid stencils and an adult kit, definitely call us because some of the, some of the adult kits have, you know, customized names and dates on them. And it's just best if we just talk to you over the phone. That way I can ensure that I get everything correct on your order. Um, our website is not set up for ordering online, obviously, because we were only doing classes. Um, so there is no way to kind of pick and choose and combine them into a cart on our website. Um, I've looked at a couple other things where, you know, like I can use Square. Square has a platform where you can build an online site, um, you know, and then do these DIY kits. But right now, I am in crisis mode. So I'm only able to do what I can do right now. Um, you know, and the thing is, is, is it's working for us. So I'm going to stick with it unless for some reason we're stuck in quarantine forever. Um, you know, and then I would revise, but there right now, there is no way to order on Facebook. You just have to get on the website and then you got to pick up the telephone and give us a call. Awesome. So thank, thank you for joining us. I, I wanted to end this by, um, what is your message of hope to the Casper area people? Don't give up. You know, um, we're all in this together. Okay. Um, don't, you know, and don't be afraid to pick up the phone and call your friend, even if you're just asking how they are, you know, um, that's really what people need to hear right now. Um, I had a, a one of my friends and we talk on and off a couple, couple times a year. She actually reached out to me and said, how are you doing? And um, it brought me to tears, you know, because I, it's what I needed to hear at the time, you know, and just remember that all of this will pass. It's going to get better. Okay. Um, we're not, you're not alone. There's other people out there who are suffering and they need your help too. So if you can find it in your heart to be strong and be there for that person and try to find a way to help your community, absolutely do it. Because now is the time where we need it more than anything. So that's kind of why we're still doing what we're doing. Well, and I think the other thing is when you're feeling kind of down and not in the right mindset, if you do something for someone else, it gets you out of that, absolutely. that negative, I, you know, feeling sorry for yourself. And so- and not just a phone call to somebody to say, are you hanging in there? Is there, I'm going to the store tomorrow. Do you need yep. some toilet paper? Yep. Or and you know, and for you, you, it may not seem like anything to pick up the phone and say, Hey, how are you doing? But to me on that day, when she texted me and asked me, it was, it was huge. It meant so much to me. So I told her, I don't want to cry. <laughs> but you know, it, it's, it's, 
it's the little things like that, that, like I said, we take for granted that we really need to be doing. You need to be checking in on your neighbor. You need to be checking in on that friend that you haven't talked to in a long time because you don't really know what's going on with them. And that single text message of, hey, I hope you're okay. How are you doing? That can completely change somebody's day. And wouldn't you rather have been able to do that for somebody than just stuck at home doing nothing, staring at your TV? I mean, now is the time we have to stick together. Yep. Well, thank you so much. You guys reach out to Kren and order some kits. <laughs> thank you. Thanks, everybody. See ya. Bye.